Yo, what's up guys? AFC Adinho here, playing his HO team. I'm gonna lead off with Azelf, and we're playing against our boy Gosu. Gosu is actually really good, so it's always spicy playing against him. Uh, he's playing a pretty standard team, but uh, looking at his team, he's pretty weak to a Volcarona sweep. Um, he does have a heat run, but I do have hidden power ground on my Volcarona. So if I actually get to weaken his Heatran, it's gonna be really nice. Um, Heatran could be a Stealth Rocker, so, um, so I'm going to rock Stealth Rock here. As he goes for knockoff and he doesn't turn out to be Scarf, so this could also be the Rocker. Uh, luckily he didn't go for Rock's turn 1, so I'm actually going for Taunt here. Uh, if he U-turns, good play, but he goes for Rock, so really good turn for us. And I can just click Explosion, because if he switches out, I, I'll basically uh, get the initiative um yeah let's see what he does he actually stays in i do 40 percent and he goes for knockoff uh, he's still taunted meaning i can actually get him my auroraville and luckily he doesn't have a pharaoh thorn on his team <laughs> so i won't get punished for getting up the auroraville i, I guess he could go into yeah into heatran uh, but with Auroraville, I have do have some safe switches for this. And let's see. He does have leftovers. I negate the recovery with my hill, which is really important. Because uh, I need one more Stealth Rock hit turn. And I think I actually kill him with plus one Folk. But I can bring him a Tarek in here. As he goes for Toxic. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, if he went for Earth Power, I obviously had Auroraville and I resist any fire type attack because I'm a rock type. But I'm going for the SD because he might protect here. And if he's going to switch, he's either bringing in his Lando, uh, his Rotomars, Among Us. His Landorus is not Scarfed because our, our Azelf, Azelf was faster. So uh, if he does bring in Lando, we can just knock it out with Stone Edge. Uh, Among Us di dies to uh, plus two Stone Edge with Life Orb, and obviously Rotom dies to close combat. Uh, and I don't think he's going to bring in his Caldeo or his Weavile on a potential close combat right now. So I think he's either protecting or he's going away Lando, uh, Rotom Among or Among Us. He could Earth Power, but I do still have the Aurora Veil up. I guess that would be the worst for me if he Earth Powers into Protect. <laughs> but he goes into Among Us. Uh, makes the safe play and I get up my SD and now he's in a really bad position because I basically get a kill right now. I just have to click Stone Edge. We do have to hit though. And if he goes Caldeo, which is the only thing that resists it, it's still a plus two Stone Edge with rocks and Hail up. So he might be in quick attack range after. But he decides to sack Among Us. And yeah, that's a mushroom down boys. That's a mushroom down. And my Terrakin actually outspeeds his whole team, aside from Weaver, and it dies with Caldeo, so if he goes Caldeo, it's still a speed tie. But yeah, he goes into Weaver. Uh, if he actually clicks Icicle Crash, and, he, and if he turns out to be Bandit, I can actually set up with full Corona right now and win, I think. Uh, because I got damage off on Lando. So I'll just stay in. And if he clicks Icicle Crash, I set up. He goes for knockoff knowing this, but I do have the Aurora Veil up, so I actually live the knockoff and knock out Weaver. So Terrakian actually putting in the work really nice. I think I die to rocks. Yeah, I do die to rocks, but that's fine. I, I'm going to bring in my Landorus right now, because uh, if he goes into his own Lando, I can click Explosion and prevent his Stealth Rock. Um, I can explode on his Rotom as well to prevent the Defog. And I can threaten out his Heatran. But yeah, he goes into Caldeo. Um, he should consider me being Scarfed. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use uh, Explosion here. If he does stay in, I do knock out Caldeo. And I, I don't even need a Quiver Dance to kill the Landorus from here. He decides to bring in Lendo. Gets the Intimidate, but I get rid of his Lendo, meaning he won't get up rocks. And that's going to be really nice for my Volcarona. And looking at his team now, um, if he goes either Caldeo or Rotom, I actually get to set up uh, with my Volcarona. So I'm going Volcarona. And he goes Heatran. And he should be fairing the Quiver Dance. So I, it's most likely throwing off the Toxic. Um, I do not have a Lumberry on this. So I'm going into Ninetales. 
As he does go for Toxic, if he did go for Ma Magma Star or something and knock me out, I could have gone Bisharp and threatened him out with the Sucker Punch. But because he clicked Toxic, I'm going to Anchor, because if I actually force him out right now, uh, he's gonna be in plus one hit a power fire, uh, hit a power ground range guarantee. But he goes for Protect. Um, I actually go for the Aurora Veil right now, because I do kind of want my Aurora Veil up. Um, if he knocks me out, that's fine, because I can still bring in Bisharp and force it out. Because my Volcarona can set up on Keldeo or Rotom, uh, because I do have the Pesho Berry, with, which halves the damage from super effective water type attacks, plus Aurora Vill as well. But I'm going for Anchor here. If I Anchor him on the Lava Plume, that's gonna be nice. I can still Anchor him on the Protect as well if he clicks Protect here. And if he switches out, uh, that's gonna be some really nice style rock damage. But let's actually see what he goes to do. Look at the booty from Heatran though. <laughs> uh, okay, he does switch out into the Rotom. And... Yeah. I do go for Encore. And what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to... Uh, instead of letting Ninetales die here, I'm going into Bisharp because he might go for Defog. Uh, then giving Bisharp the boost as he actually clicks Volt Switch. Uh, I know this is a safe play for me because because of the Aurora Veil, uh, his Hydro Pump on Volt Switch 2 has damage to me. But he decides to go into Keldeo and I know I live on Poison Turn. I don't see Leftovers by the way so I think it's Specs. Uh, but... Um... Um, if he does sub, I can Encore hit on his sub, and if he knocks me out, I get to set up with my... Um, I get to set up with my Volcarona. And if he stays in, he needs to click Secret Sword, because Scald is not knocking me out. Okay, let's go for Secret Sword, and he knocks out my Ninetals, but this means, guys, uh, we basically uh, prepared for this moment. We can bring in our full Corona. I think it's Choice Pack, so uh, I can set up the Quiver Dance, and because uh, Heatran took all that Stealth Rock damage, uh, he's not going to survive the plus one hit on Power Ground. So he does switch out into the Heatran, but he takes Rock's damage, and the Hill is going to negate his Leftovers recovery. And at plus one, I should be able to sweep his team because Rotom already took Rock's damage. So Hidden Power Ground is definitely going to be a kill. And I think um, his Keldeo is also going to die to Giga Drain because he already took Rock's as well. Yeah, Rotom coming in. Unless this is like a calm max special defense Rotom, but I still have the special Berry if he does end up going for a uh, Hydro Pump. But yeah, I do knock him out. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm, I will kill... Keldeo as well, and I still have my Bisharp alive if, if I don't kill it and he kills me with like a Hydro Pump crit or something. Because then I can just sucker punch him. So I'll just Giga. But it does end up knocking him out. And that is basically the game, so I hope you guys did enjoy this battle on really offensive team this time. Um, and yeah, I love using full Corona and Bisharp behind. Horrorville, uh, especially setup sweepers. Um, yeah, and I hope you guys did enjoy it as well. I have more hidden hyper offensive battles on my Patreon, guys. If you are subscribed to my Patreon, you actually get exclusive videos of me, of my PvP battles, which I don't, uh, which are not pub public on my YouTube channel, so. Definitely check it out. Also, some cool PvP teams uh, you'll get access to. So, Patreon link in the description. Check it out, guys. And check out my Discord server as well.